Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, let's get started. Like always, it's yesterday's review, then move from there. So, today was kind of a day where it was like, ah, it's up in the air, so what, what to expect. I think we came in pretty late. Uh, I don't know uh, when we came in, but uh, we talked about it in some detail on, on the uh, sort of uh, live stream. But the general gist of it was we're looking for potential down in London, which we ended up getting. But that's not something you sort of counter trade to where you trade away and it would help if I put these back on. Uh, again, we're looking for a trade back into sort of the range here. And we, we got some, again, it's not all of it. We j just ended up trading up into here. I was expecting some uh, some more retracement, but we did not get that. It is what it is, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we got the sort of reaction where we got that pull up, came back up, hit up into sort of New York, New York coming in, one one more uh, wick to sort of throw out people, then starts trading down, starts trading down, and there's your bias, uh, there's your hit down for the remainder of the session. Uh, what was I expecting? Trying to remember uh, where the live stream was happening. I think it was happening there. Uh, uh, you know, it was happening here. Okay. So we came in uh, and we did the live stream again on Hobie and, and, and on, on YouTube. Sort of came in here and we had the uh, assertion that, okay, there's a trade trade here to take it back up up until here. This is a point where you can say below this point, you look for price to be bearish and there was a point to be bullish on. And we got that retest here, micro, uh, micro sort of re uh, retest sort of pulling up uh, like, like how you see here we always try correcting these and then pulling cross as you can see uh, the wave trend just flat and this is why I just don't have wave trend it's just uh, it's nice to have but the the key is this uh, volume zone oscillator it moves with the price because it's just so reactive and it knows that this uh, is not something that uh, is going to be recovered in its entirety especially with these uh, up candles just throwing in the mix these are just constantly points where we can just bounce off, bounce off as you can see, three hits, uh, three hits pulled down, came back in, finally got some level of pull up, uh, then another sort of retest, divergence, pulls up, again just looking weak, uh, it's, it's not, it's to no surprise, uh, it's something that we expected out of, uh, out of, uh, today, but, at the same time, I don't I don't like how things are sort of shaping up in terms of timing wise. Uh, probably want to look at ES, see if it's trading down, and it is trading down. That's probably why we are looking weak. Uh, a nice gap. Jeez, we're just gapping everywhere. Uh, it's currently what we're trading at two six, two six. Wait, that's not right. That's not right. Seven two six. Jeez. 726 with basically trading close to week open uh basically here uh if we do that we just create a small gap so that's uh, something that you want to be mindful of so they may just want to recover and just slam this on open pull it up because remember we're still looking for potential to come up to here this will probably hit up bitcoin uh, up higher prices for today uh then a layer layer wednesday pulls down and, and hits an actual value but if it doesn't comes in trades lower without giving a retest i mean it filled in here uh on open if it close uh if it comes if it opens below uh the the low here we expect the inverse of this reaction we expect open to be a cascade of shorts being uh pulled down markets sort of moving good right. oh, i'm gonna guess that's why jesus uh uh there we go uh, yeah, market's moving down. Uh, again, something that we expect. Uh, timing's sort of a bit off uh, in terms of London's creating this downwards momentum. Unless we create this uh, fucky price action where we constantly just go down and lose out of care. Like we, how we did with the previous sort of days here. Just happy to get into a short there and just leave, leave the chart alone and, and stop caring. Uh, but if it sort of doesn't do that. Uh, again, bearish retest here. Change this to red. Potential to come back, and there's your, there's your retest for bearishness. Pull back down. 
uh, if we come back up bullish is here pulls up uh, if this sort of comes and uh, sort of trades evenly around here maybe come back take this low pull back up uh, and and look strong for uh, for New York then it'll sort of try carrying on but I, th I think New York is sort of uh, I mean Wednesdays this is just I think it might be it might have been the high uh, but who's to say let's turn everything off uh, let's get rid of that. Actually, yeah, I like these timings. Uh, we see if uh, London comes in and it's, it is sort of a uh, double check. Uh, there's two, what about uh, two and a, uh, an hour and 45 minutes? Uh, so coming at four. So we want to see if this starts consolidating, fakes it out on uh, prior to four, pulls up, then looks strong here, retest, pulls up, then takes at least the high or takes a high here then pulls down but generally high time frame wise we are looking for lower uh, we are looking for the uh, this 1800 uh, so it's perfect uh, if we look at the hour uh, Jesus if we look at the hour we got this high here coming in pulling down small point here this will potentially come in fill in here then pull up so essentially this is where you want to try it trying to attempt along I mean you can obviously try scalping but scalpings will only be up to here pull down uh, if it looks strong then you can try to take it up but I mean I doubt it looks strong uh, especially with what we're getting uh, here so again you're probably thinking about this area here so probably try come back on a lower time frame uh, probably pull this down a bit further around here is where you're probably looking to say okay does it hold this area holds this sort of uh, structure here where it just stop hunts uh, Asia pulls up throws a, maybe one more candle to pull it up then start pu starts pulling up uh, probably want to check the UK 100 UK 100 basically just following the UK 100 pretty much uh, I mean it is the UK session so that's not too bad there's your ES following it shortly behind I mean it's delayed so it's probably farther ahead uh, so that's Again, you're trying to look for these areas where you potentially uh, see. So New York open, if it closes below, you're expecting it to get slammed. If it starts uh, recovering and uh, going up uh, abo above this mark, because you're looking for ES to at least be around uh, you're around open or say 794 uh, to sort of not just instantly just cascade into a cell. If it does that, I think just Bitcoin will just bleed slowly uh, till weekend. Uh, and you don't want it to do that you want it to slowly you want it by Friday here uh, then people to get tripped up uh, or, or, or here like uh, so you want Saturday Sunday to be here then Monday to start looking strong and start pulling up otherwise it's just I don't know it just doesn't look good for it so that's something that you want to know but again there's your short from the top and you can short this after the confirmation but up to you it's a great short now it's it might be something that you just want to say uh push stop say uh at here and just leave leave the charts alone if it gets hit it gets hit you don't want to take any positions uh do i want it slightly higher i don't know it's, here should be fine i mean here it will probably take it take it uh take this level so maybe you want to place it here just slightly above uh, capture the profit try ca it will capture less profits but would be safer in case it tries the reversing pulls up fakes it pulls down uh, so that's something that you want to ca uh, ca take care of but like I said it might be something that you uh, past this point you, you just leave the chart alone set alerts to see price tries closing above or crossing crosses this uh, and then potentially look for a, a long scenario uh, depending on how yeah, uh, London sets up. Uh, fifteen minutes, pretty, pretty looking pretty sort of curved. So we might expect some some reaction if it consolidates. It might be excuse to pull it down. This is one long uh one long uh pull down. We're looking for consolidation. Then we can treat this as level one. Well, we can treat this as level one. Then we can get our three days, uh, essentially of pulling down. Uh, or begin that three days uh, cycle of try pulling price down and it's a uh, sort of full glory mm. so I mean I think that should wrap up there's sort of nothing more to say actually we can just look at Bitcoin sort of uh, 
order book there's your order book we're seeing price someone trying to come in absorb this sell volume uh pretty significant sort of sell volume i think uh, coming in oh that's why uh it's about 27 uh two, uh not too much but again the from from uh day uh day open to here we've just slowly been bleeding so it might be something that they take out reverse and start looking strong take it play with the highs then pull it down so uh just playing both scenarios like i said if it's not above uh, a certain value you're not looking to touch the uh touch the markets in terms of uh or touch your shorts really um uh, again there we go there's uh your scenario pull back down uh there's trap longs here trap longs here so now you can sort of uh, you can keep this on uh but you can sort of have another line you sort of want to see if price tries to come back here pulls up and starts looking strong if it retests its beak here pulls down uh, that's what you're looking again these are a look looks like just looking at the speed of the tape it's probably short liquidations uh relatively decent amount of volume we, we sort of uh came from this apex apex point which and just slowly diminished which is great finally seeing some like sense in the markets rather than just dumb shit uh that we've been seeing uh time and time again so i think that's sort of my take for today uh not much sort of to sort of say other than those uh you look for those scenarios to play out uh if they do uh tune in i mean if you're watching this far i recommend you uh, I might have a short Discord update depending on uh, how U uh, US looks, but other than that, market looks decent. Uh, it's sort of following along uh, where we're sort of uh, sort of pathing for it. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing sort of uh, too. Uh, uh, but there's that. So other than that, man, I'll see you guys later. Have a lovely day. Peace.